Another year, another Netflix movie that's not Blackberry Bibs or Rich Sugar Mummies. This movie would obviously be bad, guys. In a Jack Christmas is what you would call a feel-good movie. Something you would get your family members to come together and watch it. Until they take the lights. <laughs> you know Nigeria is now. It follows a woman called Agatha and her three sons who are desperate to get her grandkids because this is a status every woman in Africa must have. You are watching this at the moment and you know I'm saying the truth. Her sons are all unique in one way or another. One is called Chiki. He's like a gym bro. So you know nothing good is ever going to come from him. Obi is the nerd of the family. He also has this twitch he does that seems like he's trying to adjust his eyesight or signaling the boys to look back because a lady with a massive ass just passed. <coughs> Mama, you know that I have a dream. Then we have Ugo, who is the eldest and like the bridge of the movie, connecting two genres together, which is comedy and education. On one end, he is funny and spontaneous with his words, and on the other end, he is able to teach the viewers how not to act at this age. In their mom's aim of increasing the divorce rate in Nigeria because of her hunger for grandkids, she tells her sons that the first person to get married gets to keep the house. And then the movie actually starts. Obi, who is is a very shy person starts off doing the most extroverted thing, proposing to his babe who is far from his league. Nah, nah I made a mistake. They are not even playing the same sport. Will you marry me? Baba, don't steal my brand! Baba, don't steal my brand! But this mob proposal was not a complete L. He was able to get popularity from it because someone that can pull up to 50,000 viewers <laughs> was magically at the mall. <laughs> So that's the win. You know what they say. I rather fail with the world watching me. That's why he's the goat. He also has a friend called Kinang, and it seems like she wants to take up this challenge to make Vera jealous because she likes him and his twitch. <laughs> but I hate that she had to use Nkobi in this scene. Not that it's bad, but for me, I have an issue with Nkobi Bowls. The person that made this should be imprisoned, honestly. I'm not lying. The bowl looks like it's big, but it's not. It's a trick, guys. It's a trick. It's made to deceive you. It was made by the Illuminati. They have this three we love battle circle but in our hearts we know kinang was meant for him not because she feeds him actual ritualist food but because of her shoes yes guys i said it you see there has only been one person in my lifetime of reviewing that has made me envy shoes that is spider girl and this movie Chike is the weirdest of them all. He's doing what gym bros do. They go to the gym, enough time to get a married woman to sort their bills. But he did the worst thing possible. He fell in love. Nah, bruh, you fall in love with the gym. Not the bank, man. Not the bank. Ugo, who is the main character of this movie, needs this house because he is owing this Tony Torpedo guy a lot of money. And to drive that message in that he has to pay, Tony just keeps taking everything from him, from his TV to his computer, and he took more. It's just that I don't want to mention everything. His food also was taken. And that's sad. You can take my life, my children, my wife, but when you take my food, that's when you're actually crossing the line. He tried using his business partner, but that did not work out. Then, for his plan B, he went to the church to find him a church girl. But the only issue with church girls is that they have these crazy instincts. Like, I'm not even lying. They see through all your advances. Their only weak point is drummers and ushers. To be honest, everybody in the church is their weak point. He keeps doing things just to please her because he knows the famous saying, if you lie a handful of times to a girl, she would eventually fall for it. But when the lie doesn't work, tell her the truth. Because the truth is also the lie. That's what they say, guys. Everything I just said is in the writing. That's why he's the goat. He was able to convert her into a bad girl and took her to the club. <laughs> she got so drunk that she sang worship songs in the club. Baba, don't steal my brand. Oh, most people did not notice this, but what's going on here? Three-way rocking? 
this movie is progressive i was confused a little bit at this point because shockingly the one character that connects everyone together is tony torpedo so he's dating kinang and also friends with ugo's church babe I didn't miss that joke here, right? So after Obi realized that Vera isn't meant for him, he starts chasing Kinang and Tony had to step in. Leave Kanang alone. Kanang is not a child. She can date whoever she chooses to. All brothers had like this big fight at the end of the movie. Ugo then realized that his babe had nothing to do with Tony Torpedo. And for some reason, again, guys, I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> How is it that someone has this massive following and is walking around Moshi? At the end of the movie, Obi paid Ugo's debt and got engaged with Kinang. And that's how it ended. Except I missed something. Oh, oh, the church babe and who go go back together oh, oh yeah also the gym guy fell in love with the gym <laughs> it was a slow paced and funny movie and i liked it for that i liked torpedo a lot his laugh was what i liked every time he came into the scene i was like oh damn i needed more from him the dynamics between ugo and his church babe was not bad i really liked this moment right here on the mic play me something i just record hmm? You, you mean put on the mic? It was a few good movies, so I give them props for that. So what did I not like? The movie felt unfinished or rushed. None of the guys seemed in love. He had a married woman fetish. I know this because I have one. <laughs> this one felt like he settled. These two had chemistry, no doubt, but I don't think she liked him. Like why? Okay, I know why he liked her because he probably spent a lot of time with her and he got introduced into her world. But what did he do that stood out for her? Answer that below, guys, because I'm confused. Those were my issues with the movie, but what do you think? I'm asking you guys to comment down below. But my advice for a part two is bring the cast of Blackberry Babes. Why are you guys wasting time? Oh yes, uh, new video this Saturday, turn on post notification guys, bye. Oh yes, shout out to Iyanu, she got the question right on Instagram, bye. 3, 2, 1, go. Another year, another next. Ugo, who is the main character of this movie, needs the house because he is owing his... Shit man, I'm, I'm evil and I am trashing this name. I don't know where this accent is coming from. Why was Vera with him for... Why was Vera with him? Was it because of his brains or his money or his switching eyes? I don't know. <laughs>